This is not the church of Joseph Smith. Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, I hope Utahns, if not the rest of America who may happen to stumble across this video, understand the trap, the death trap, that our government leaders are doing by opening up businesses again, putting people back to work. The coronavirus is not gone, it's not going away, it's not dying down in Utah. It's still, it's still increasing, adding more hospitalizations, adding more deaths. As today's jobless, or unemployment report came out, 20,000 more Utahns are unemployed last, from last week filing. And uh, so for Herbert to reopen businesses this week, what that means is that the businesses and the employees no longer get government benefits. That's what they're trying to stop. They don't want to give you a free handout. They want you paying for your basic necessities during this crisis. And, and that's the pure evil that's going on here, is that they need to shut everything down, keep us at home, but provide us with a living, the food, so that we don't starve to death being stuck at home. But they don't like that. They don't like treating us as welfare recipients. They want us slaving for them as slaves, as businesses are the owners, and they need slaves to run their business to make their multi-billions while we scrape by, check paycheck to paycheck. And, uh, and so this is why Republicans are refusing to shut down the states, refusing to accept the reality of coronavirus, is so that you get off welfare, because they don't want a welfare state. Mitch McConnell yesterday had been uh, caught saying he's going to bankrupt the American states if they don't put people back to work. He doesn't want to give them bailout money. He'll let them go bankrupt. This is exploiting a national crisis. This is similar to war profiteering. As businesses refuse to give of their supplies to help in this time of crisis and demand that people pay them for their products and so understand that first and foremost they want you to go back to work so you don't get free money and it's not like you're refusing to work it's there's a killer out there we have to stay home. Just like a real physical killer who's loose on the streets and the police are hunting them down trying to find them, this coronavirus is a killer loose on our streets and nurses and doctors are hunting it down. While we're supposed to stay at home until it's safe to come out. But during this time, because they did not do it in the beginning, we are going to go month after month after month after month rather than taking just uh, three weeks max. If we had done it from the beginning, three weeks max, and it wouldn't have been the whole nation because we knew exactly who was coming in. We could have immediately stopped it right then and there, done the quarantines as necessary at all our ports of entry. We could have prevented it, kept it away, but because Trump didn't, because he 
escalated it purposely to cause this. It's going to go on for years. There is no vaccine. So please understand, that's what they're doing. Is they don't want to give you free money. Even in a time of crisis. They'd rather keep the money coming into their businesses. And as government leaders, they get bribed by these businesses. <sighs> so that's the main thing I wanted to point out. Another thing had to do with uh, Mormons uh, who are uh, supposed to, supposedly the highest per capita who get higher education degrees. Yet Mormons are not demonstrating intelligence with their degrees proportionate I you know there was a time where the the boys from Rigby invented TV that's how Mormonism was supposed to be designed is that Mormons get intelligence light and truth knowledge and are supposed to be the inventors, the creators, the discoverers, the decipherers of uh, Paleo-Hebrew and Egyptian that the church then gets them busted for and tries to have them destroyed. Yeah, me. <coughs> and so Mormons as a result are in dark ages. They're just slave labor bees. It's the beehive state. That the drone bees work for the queen. They're slaves. That's not supposed to be the uh, symbolism of the beehive state. Uh, but uh, Brigham Young made sure to put the seagull, which is a scavenger bird, on top of the beehive at the seagull gate. That laziness of the Lamanites has conquered the industriousness of the Nephites. You didn't know that, did you? Not watching my other videos. So, please understand, they're lazy once they get in office. But they still demand servitude from the rest of us. They don't want us creating and inventing things. And since the boys in Rigby, Idaho created television, invented television, other than my grandpa uh, inventing the uh, rotary dental chairs, uh, and then my decipherment of Paleo-Hebrew, Egyptian picture glyphs, discovering that the Egyptian picture glyphs were the inspiration for the biblical narrative stories, uh, there's not been any real inventions in Utah other than maybe the the tater tot sauce that's unique to Utah which all it is is Thousand Island dressing so they stole the idea and so yeah I, when I worked at the Beehive Clothing I get transferred from the distribution center warehouse uh, over to Beehive Clothing and uh, I've told the story before, uh, seven employees working in the warehouse, uh, we uh, spent a full eight hour shift, five days a week, had to work some Saturdays, a sixth day, so that we can try to get caught up for the next week. I came along, they finally we got rid of some people who were obstinate and got some new people in and said, yeah, go ahead and we'll implement it. Two people, four hours. The processing line no longer called back, saying we're out of this, we're out of that, we're out of this, we're out of that. 
we were on top of it. Two people from seven, four hours from eight plus an overtime Saturday. It's not hard to get revelation and inspiration and create and invent, decipher, discover, etc. You just, I don't know, for other Mormons I guess it's hard. Living in darkness, I guess.